All right, in this video, I am going to do uh, actually the first half of this presentation. Uh, we're going to focus solely on something called Boolean logic. So let's go back and review uh, uh, some things from 1301. We had these Java uh, Boolean expressions, and, or, and not. And as a refresher, and was two ampersands, or was two vertical lines, what we call pipes. Um, and if you look on your keyboard, it's usually um, right above the enter key or the return key as a, as a vertical line. Uh, you usually have to shift to, to make it, to type it. Um, and then not was a uh, exclamation point, also called a bang, uh, immediately in front of a Boolean expression. Uh, for and, we took two values, whether they're true and false together. So false and false gave us false. False and true gave us false. True and true, uh, false gave us false. True and true gave us true. So for and, um, if any side of the operator has false on it, the entire expression was false. Both things must be true for um, an and expression to be true. For or, false or false gives us false. False or true gives us true. True or false gives us true. True or true gives us true. And for that one, um, if any side of the expression is true, the entire thing is true. Um, both things must be false for or to be false. Uh, for not, um, if, if uh, we take the not of false, it gives us true. We take the not of true, it gives us false. It literally inverts the, the true and false. So you've seen this before. We, we talked about this in, in CS1301. This uh, is directly analogous to binary. In binary, one is true and zero is false. So we can do an and, or, and not of these things. Um, and is represented by juxtaposing uh, two things together. So if I have a value A and a value B uh, together like this, it's read as A and B. Or is represented by a plus sign. So A or B is read as A or B. It's not plus, it's A or B. And if you kind of look at it, and kind of looks like multiplication, or kind of looks like addition, um, and to an extent the, the that idea holds out, but there'll be places where it doesn't. So we, it's really and and or. Not is represented uh, as an apostrophe after a bit or other expression. So A apostrophe is read as not A, or the inverse of A. Uh, some books and, and websites and things will also uh, you use a bar over an expression uh, to represent not. I'm going to use apostrophe because it's a whole lot easier to type as I make my uh, slides and stuff. The truth table holds the same as it did before, except now we're replacing our falses with zeros and our trues with one. So zero and zero gives me zero, zero and one it's also a zero. One and zero is a zero. One and one is a one. For the ors, zero or zero gives me zero. Zero or one gives me one. One or zero gives me one. One or one gives me one. Exactly like what you've seen before. All we're doing is swapping out true and false for one and zero, respectively. Uh, for not, uh, the not of zero is one. The not of one is zero. Um, there's a few uh, derived operators that you'll hear talking about. Um, NAND is where you take A and it with B, and then the inverse of that result. So the, the parentheses say do the AND first, then take the, uh, the NOT of that. NOR, take two things, OR them together, and then take the NOT of that result. And you'll see those around. I, we really won't use NAND and NOR. Uh, one we might use a little bit is is called XOR, also known as the exclusive OR. And there's a formula for it. A, NOT, and B. Or A and B, NOT. And we even have a special symbol for it. It's uh, an OR sign, a plus, with a circle around it. So for XOR, the truth table looks like this. A exclusive or B is zero. Sorry, zero exclusive or B is zero. Zero exclusive or one is one. 
one exclusive or zero is one, and then one exclusive or one is zero. Sorry, one exclusive or zero is, is one. Yeah. Um, the way I like to think about exclusive or is it's on, the result is only one if these two things are different. So if I have a zero x or one or a one x or zero. If both my both sides are the same, if they're a zero and a zero or a one and a one, the result is a zero. Um, we can do basic algebra using Boolean expressions. And here is an, a, a, a nice list of uh, properties we can use when we're uh, doing some simplification on Boolean expressions. Um, you know, A and B is the same thing as B and A. A or B is the same thing as B or A. Um, it distributes, so A anded with a quantity B or C gives me A and B or A and C. Um, if I have A or B quantity anded with A or C quantity, if you do the, the FOIL and, and reduction using some of these other expressions, you actually get A or B and C. And we always evaluate the AND first. So the B and C has priority. We evaluate that, then OR it with A. If you have a 1 and you AND it with anything, you get that thing back. So a 1 ANDed with A is just A. Looks just like the, the algebra expression, but remember we're dealing with binary. Uh, a 0 ORed with something else gives you that something else. So 0 OR A would be A. Anything ANDed with its not gives me zero. So A anded with the not of A gives me zero. Anything ORed with its not gives you one. So A or not A is one. Um, anything anded with zero gives you a zero. Anything ORed with a one gives a one. Uh, those should be pretty self-explanatory. Anything anded with itself is just itself. So A and A gives me A. And if you think about it, 1 and 1 gives me 1, 0 and 0 gives me 0. Um, same if you do OR. 1 or 1 gives me 1, 0 or 0 would give me 0. Um, the, and it doesn't matter which order you, you perform an, a in, uh, an AND in. So A, if I do the B and C, and then AND it with A. It's the same thing as if I did A and B and AND it with C. Uh, same goes for ORs. Um, anything, which if you take the NOT twice, simply becomes that thing again. <laughs> so if I take A and the NOT of it, and then the NOT again, it, I'm back to A. Um, if I take A and distribute it across itself plus B, or ORed with B, I actually just get A back. Um, and then if I have A ORed with AB, I still get A back. This is just a, a chart of things to look at um, when we're uh, simplifying Boolean expressions, um, and we'll use that um, in some exercises later. Uh, a couple of things uh, of, of properties that are particularly important to us are called De Morgan's laws. Um, if I take A and it with B, and then take the not of that, that is equivalent to saying a not or B not. And then there's another version of this where if I take A or it with B, take the not of that uh, result, I get A not ended with B not. And we call these De Morgan's laws. Add those to your mental map of things you can use with properties of Boolean expressions. We'll use those for uh, simplifying some things. Uh, a couple of vocabulary terms you may hear. Uh, this is what we call the sum of products form. Uh, I think we probably use this, this same idea in algebra as well, um, where you think of ands as products and the ors as sums between them. So A and B, ORed with C or D, ORed with E or F, ORed with F or G. Um, product of sums form is kind of the other way around, where you have something like A or B quantity anded with C or D quantity. Anded with E or F quantity, anded with G or H quantity, and you could have as many of those out as you wanted. And we're usually trying to reduce things into, honestly, mostly sum of products form, uh, but occasionally we'll do it as product of sums form. 
All right, these are some exercises that I would like you to try first. Um, and I'm going to use this as my marker. I'm going to splice in, hopefully, a um, uh, an online whiteboarding of me going through each of uh, each of these uh, as part of the remainder of this video. Okay, I hope that you are hearing this. So we're, we're working on these the exercises that um, are on slide eight of the uh, Boolean uh, expressions. Yeah, the Boolean logic uh, slides. Uh, so the first one is this expression, A or B, anded with B or C. So I want you to remember FOIL from your uh, algebra class. First, outer, inner, last. So let's do that. First is A, or, uh, A and B. Outer is A and C. Inner is B and B, last is B and C. And let's start uh, trying to simplify. So if we look back at um, the, the properties of Boolean expression slides, looks like it's slide five in the, five in the presentation, uh, there's a few things we can, we can do here. Uh, one of them is B anded with itself. All that, all that is is B. So I'm actually just going to strike one of these out so we just remember that it's B. Um, we also have um, A distributed across these two um, expressions. So let's pull that out. This is valid. A ended with B or C. We've got a B here or B, C. Not much we can do with the A anded with a B or C. We can pull a B out of these two, so let's do that. But now we have one ORD with C, which is really just one. And B anded with one is B, so we can. Uh, Put it out by itself as B. But you know what? I am going to um, go back to here. I'm going to distribute A back across. I'm sorry, go back to here. You can't see my, my where I'm pointing with my pencil unless I draw it out with you. Um, I'm actually going to do A and B or A, C again because now we can pull a B out of that which gives me B anded with 1 plus A ORD with AC. Well, 1 plus A goes to 1. So what this really gives me is B or AC. And we're done with that, that, exp uh, that expression. All right, let's do the next one. And I'm going to start a new note for that. And then we're going to have A or B quantity with a not on it, and then B or C. So let's. Uh, the first thing we have to do is actually get rid of the not. So what we have here is a classic situation of De Morgan's theorem. So A or B with a not at the top, uh, in, with a not on it, um, becomes a not, B not, and that's still anded with B or C there. So now let's distribute the A not, B not across. So we get A not, or sorry, yeah, A not, B not, B, or A not, B not, C. That B not B is always going to be zero. Anything ORD with zero is going to be zero. So this entire term falls out. And what we're left with is A naught, B naught, C. 
That's about as simple as we can go with that one. All right, try one more. In this one, we uh, the very last exercise from the slide is A, B, and there's a, uh, a knot on the B, ended with A or B, and there's also a knot on that B. Uh, the first thing to do would be to distribute that across um, the terms of the, of the or, so we get A, B not A, or A, B not B not. Uh, some things we can do, A ended with itself is just A, so we can strike one of those out. B not ended with B not is just going to be B not, so we'll strike one of those out. And what we're left with is A B not or A B not. And once again, two things, uh, the same thing ordered with itself, we can eliminate it, and what we're left with is A B not. You will have some of these exercises in your homework, so. Um, to, to practice with these. All right.